The upgraded Puma Armored Infantry Vehicle, utilized by the German Army, Bundeswehr, has successfully completed a rigorous three-week testing phase aimed at improving its combat capabilities. These trials took place at the Oberlausitz military training ground under challenging conditions. The Puma Armored Infantry Vehicle, originally designed and primarily used by Germany, is equipped with a 30mm gun, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and eight smoke grenade launchers. This versatile combination enables it to handle various combat scenarios, from engaging enemy infantry to providing cover for troop movements. In terms of specifications, the German IFV weighs 31,450 kg at protection level A and 40,700 kg at protection level C. It can achieve a top speed of 70 km per hour and has a range of 650 km, offering both speed and endurance. The vehicle accommodates a crew of three and can transport an additional six soldiers. Its dimensions are 7.33 meters in length, 3.43 meters in width, and 3.050 meters in height. The Puma is also equipped with various accessories to enhance its operational capabilities, including air conditioning, an NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, protection system, and night vision capabilities. The vehicle features advanced firing control systems and main armament stabilization, ensuring accuracy even in challenging conditions. The tests were conducted under the leadership of the Bundeswehr's Technical Center for Land-Based Vehicle Systems, Engineering, and Troop Technology WTD-41, in Trier. They aimed to evaluate the enhanced features and overall durability of the Puma. The Oberlausitz training ground provided a demanding environment for the trials, with persistent dry conditions making the sandy test tracks highly dusty, posing a risk of microscopic dust particles infiltrating the vehicle's components. Key concerns included the vehicle's air filtration system and its mobility in deep sand. Throughout the tests, the Puma covered nearly 1,300 kilometers, enduring extreme heat and dusty conditions, along with its crew. Additionally, the test Puma was equipped with a tactical, laser-based weapon training system, allowing for full-scale combat simulations, including coordination with other weapon systems like tanks, artillery, and infantry. Electrical weapon and effect simulators were also integrated into the Puma for this purpose, and the system performed well despite dusty conditions and rugged terrain. To simulate real-world conditions, the Puma was loaded with an extra two tons of equipment for the tests, compared to its standard configuration. This accounted for the military's experience that vehicles tend to become heavier over time due to upgrades, such as enhanced armor and more powerful weapons. The tests rigorously assessed whether the vehicle's drive components, including the engine, transmission, and suspension, could withstand the increased weight and associated stress. While intensive tests like these can result in some equipment damage, the primary goal is to push the technology to its limits for the safety and effectiveness of soldiers. Any issues identified during the tests will be carefully examined and addressed.